Hello beautiful bag lovers, it's Trina and I'm in Kyrgyzstan in a yurt somewhere on Isikol, is that the name of it? Isikol Lake and we stayed overnight in this cute little B&B uh, &B type of place but right now we're in the backyard yurt and we're looking at a coach bag. I think it's called a mini rogue. I'll check on that and put the details below. But in the meantime, I'm going to talk to a fellow friend, uh, Yoko, who is with me on this trip and she has brought with her a lovely bag. So we're gonna talk about her cute little bag. Hello, my lovely Yoko. Please tell us about your little bag here. Why do you like it? Why did you buy it? What's great about it? Okay, I have a reason. I've been looking for the smallest purse for me to travel around the world. And I found it in a coach shop. And there is the nice design. It has two pockets outside and then one zipper type here and the left side. And I could put sunglasses, purse, mm -hmm. handkerchief, mm -hmm. and a paper something, and lipstick. That's my perfect thing. So just your just your essentials. What about your passport? Does that fit in there? Of course, yes. Yeah. Today I don't have passport, but always passport in here. But it's got great organization, eh? Because it has the outside slip, mm -hmm. and... Yep. Yeah, it's 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 definitely a mini rogue style, I think. Yeah, and or a micro. Here, always. Oh, so, uh, but you've got a small smartphone, yes. right? Yeah. Now, can you fit it? It's got a shoulder strap too that's detachable. Mm -hmm. You're short, probably, right? Yes. <laughs> so that's why sometimes I can take the strap off for the mini party, mm -hmm. so I could enjoy the different style. It's like yeah. a shopping style. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> But for usually I use a strap mm. for the walking and you do a lot of chores. Mm. So that's why it's very helpful for me. So did you get this bag recently? Yesterday. Uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> last last September. So oh last September. So you've yes. had it for a while. Sorry, sorry, last July. I'm sorry. Last July. <laughs> oh, so just before Kyrgyzstan. Yes, just before. Yeah. So this is your first time using it on the road, exactly, really. Exactly. Almost. Yes. Yeah. And then you just have your pack sack and your suitcase, basically, mm -hmm. right? And then the designs are like, you know, summer season like. Yeah. So I like this design. So it's a tan, a yeah. tan leather with some straw yeah, accent straw here. and gold and hardware. Here. But I guess I can use the whole season because mm. this is a leather mm. on the uh, middle. So I chose to buy it to use whole season. And um, how much was it in, in uh, Nihonen? Uh, okay, so about about four hundred dollars, yes. I guess, right? U.S. dollars, I imagine. Uh, it was. Yeah. To buy it because uh, you can use whole season, and then I always use a backpack, mm. but I cannot find a purse on the back. Yeah. <laughs> but here, I can take out passport, smartphone, and money. So yeah. I need the smallest one. I'm a big fan of the crossbody bag too. I brought this uh, coat, not coach, it's a Chloe uh, camera bag. Mine's a lot bigger than yours though, but I've been carrying a lot more. I've got my this camera that I'm vlogging with and some other stuff. So, But I think if you just need the essentials, this one is good enough. Yeah. Very cute. So there you have it guys, the mini Rogue, uh, if I'm not mistaken. If I am mistaken, I'll, I'll put it in the notes below. Thank you, Yoko. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Okay, and here we are in Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, looking at some obviously fake bags from a whole range of different brands. Uh, well, I don't know what the original brand is of these guys, but they're plasticky and they're a bit naff. But it's fun to see these things live. There's the pochette metis and the Fendi. I actually like the uh, Yves Saint Laurent here. <laughs> <laughs> 